Hello everyone. I am Dr. Benin. In this presentation, I am going to explain in detail about G.V. Black's classification of dental caries. G.V. Black's classification of dental caries is one of the first introduced classification of dental caries, which is universally accepted and the classification is based on the involvement of the carious surfaces. According to G.V. Black, dental caries can be classified or categorized into six classes, ranging from class 1 to class 6. In this presentation, let's see about all these classes in detail. Starting with class 1, which is the pit and fissure caries. All pit and fissure caries are categorized as class 1 dental caries. In turn, it's been subdivided into three subtypes, subtype 1, 2, and 3. The subtype 1 states that the caries which occurs on the occlusal surface of premolars and molars. This is the most common type of dental caries which can be seen in human dentition. The subtype 2 of class 1 dental caries states that the caries which occurs on the occlusal two-thirds of facial and lingual surfaces of molars. The most common cases seen in this category are the buccal pit caries in the mandibular molars and the palatal pit caries which occurs in the maxillary molars. The subtype 3 of the class 1 dental caries includes the caries which occurs on the lingual surfaces of upper incisors. The maxillary incisors, that's the central and the lateral incisors, the lingual surface often has the lingual pit. These lingual pits are often more prone for dental caries. In turn, the mandibular incisors and the mandibular canines and the maxillary canines are not included in this category or in this classification. G.V. Black considered that the maxillary canine, the lingual aspect, and the mandibular anteriors, the lingual aspects, are more resistant for caries occurrence. So it is not included in this classification. So in short, class 1 dental caries, which is all the pit and fissure caries, it is of three subtypes. The caries which occur on the occlusal surfaces of premolars and molars are subtype 1. Caries which occurs on the occlusal two-third of the facial and lingual surface of molars is subtype 2. And the caries which occurs on the lingual surfaces of upper incisors is subtype 3. Now let's see on what is class 2 dental caries. Class 2 dental caries is those caries which is occurring in the proximal surfaces of premolars and molars. Often the marginal ridge may be intact in some cases, but once it spreads, it will include the marginal ridges. Class 2 dental caries is often associated with food impaction. Often diagnosis of class 2 dental caries are missed with clinical examination and a good quality radiograph will give a clear insight of a diagnosis of class 2 dental caries. The interdental probe of a dental explorer can be used for efficient diagnosis of class 2 dental caries. Class 3 dental caries is the caries which occurs in the proximal surface of incisors and cuspid which do not include the incisal anchor. We can see that the class 3 dental caries occurs in the proximal surface of the anterior teeth but it do not include the incisal angle. But in turn, the class 4 dental caries is the caries which occurs on the proximal surface of anterior teeth, that is the incisor and the canines, that do involve the incisal edge. So a caries which do not include the incisal angle of the anterior teeth, but it do occur in the proximal surface is class 3, but once the caries extends and involves the incisal edge of the anterior teeth, which is a class 4 dental caries. A caries which occurs in the proximal surface of the posterior region is all class 2 dental caries. For the anterior region, depending upon the involvement of the incisal angle, it can be either class 3 or class 4. 
The class 5 dental caries, the caries which occurs in the gingival third of labial or the lingual surface of all tooth. That is, it can occur in the labial and the lingual aspect from central incisor to third molar. Any tooth, whenever there is a caries in the gingival third of the labial or the lingual aspect, then it is class 5 dental caries. But in case if there is a caries in the gingival one third of the proximal aspect of a tooth, then it can be in a posterior tooth that is class 2 or an anterior teeth that is a class 3 or a class 4. A class 6 dental caries is a caries which occurs in the incisal edges and smooth surface of teeth above the height of contour. In order to easy to understand, we can say that caries which occurs at the cuspal heights or the cusp tips of a posterior teeth like a molar or a premolar and the incisal edges of anterior teeth are considered to be the class 6. Class 6 dental caries is not a original GV Black's classification but it is included by Simon into the classification of GV Black. Now class 6 is also considered to be a part of GV Black's classification of dental caries. Although it is a easy, simple to understand, universally accepted and one of the oldest classification system of dental caries, GV Black's classification do have some drawbacks. First, we can say that it do not take the dimensions of the cavity size into account. For example, in the occlusal surface of a molar, if there is an initial pit and fissure caries, or if there is a deep caries extending up to the inner dentin, both are considered as GV Black's class 1 dental caries. So it does not give any idea or suggestion or treatment planning about the caries. That's one of the drawback. And next, GV Black recommended the use of a sharp sickle probe and a forceful probing into the surface for diagnosis of dental caries. But now we understand that the forceful application of pressure by a probe can lead to cavity formation in case of non-cavitated lesion. So it is no more recommended. Often it is recommended to use smooth ended probe like a CPATN probe and a gentle application of forces needed for caries examination rather than a forceful application of force with a sharp probe. That's all about the GV Black's classification of dental caries. If you like this video, kindly consider subscribing to my YouTube channel Smart Dentistry. I will make videos that will be useful for dentists and dental students. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.